Hey, check this out. I uh, was asked by a client that uh, had a number of these situations within their drawing. It was a landscape drawing, and the line was a uh, previous existing uh, vegetation line, and there was some, some wetland information in here as in the form of a hatch, and they wanted to update their drawing to bring the vegetation line back to the uh, the wetland line uh, but I, I uh, the only information that I had was this hatch in here and uh, the question was well can we draw a line along here and um, then get rid of and, and keep the uh, the original or the new uh, veg line well uh, some people don't know this but there's a real quick and easy way you can bring your boundary back for your for your hatch and uh, if you do a right click after gripping your hatch, you can generate the boundary. So now my boundary is generated. I can easily um, do an explode and, um, and trim out the information that, uh, well, now it's gonna call me a liar. Um, that is around that uh, so now I have that boundary I can do a, a uh, poly edit enter so PE enter if you notice in my command line PE enter sorry um, and then M for multiple enter and I can pick all of these pieces at one time and I want to make them into one, yes. And I want to J for join. And then it asks for me for a fuzz factor. So if the points are not connected, then um, we can easily say, give me a fuzz factor of one. Say enter. Um, and what happens is, is it makes, I'm just gonna bring that over there, makes that one piece. So now I have a, boundary that represents the the veg line as it was cleared uh, and it doesn't disrupt the the hatch that came out of their boundary uh, subscribe check me out uh, my other videos and uh, talk to you soon